guys, what is up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Glenn by Sim. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today's video is going to be super excited and I'm actually pretty nervous because this video is going to be a video where a personal stylist picks my clothes. So I have never done a service like this before, but I've seen a couple of videos going around on YouTube where people go on a website and let someone pick their clothes and I thought it was such a fun idea and I would love to see what someone would pick out for me. So last week I filled in an entire survey about my personal style and preferences and stuff, but my box just arrived and I'm so excited, it's so big. Look at this box, you guys. So this is from a website called Zalon, and it's by Zalando, and that is basically a fashion website for the Netherlands, Belgium, and Germany, I believe. It's just basically like an online store like ASOS, but then they also do Zalon, which is their personal shopping service. And the really good thing about this is that getting a box like this is totally free. You don't have to pay anything, even if you don't keep an item. So that was really important for me because let's say the personal stylist just gets my taste wrong, buys me outfits that I don't like, I can just return them all and I don't have to pay anything. So I think that's definitely a great service from them. So if you're as curious and excited as me to see what this personal stylist chose for me, then please keep on watching. So we are going to start with this first little set of clothes that looks so fun. Let's start with the item on top and that is this t-shirt from Selected Femme. I did already try this on in a store so that's kind of funny that she put this in here. I didn't end up buying it because I felt like it was a bit too loose on me but I do really like the color. It's kind of the same color as this dress just a little bit more pale. But then I also said I'm not like the biggest fan of v-necks. I'm not sure what I think of this, but I will try it on like another time with like the jeans and stuff. So we can see how it looks like. Maybe I do end up liking it anyway because I was kind of like doubting when I tried it on there. So this is what it looks like. It is a really pretty v-neck t-shirt. It's from the brand Selected Femme v-neck and it's 17 euros and 94 cents, which is not expensive at all for a t-shirt. I think that's a great price. So I'm super excited to see this shirt on. So here I am with the first shirt on. This is the cotton candy pink shirt that I said I already tried on in a different store. But now that I wear this, I feel like in the other store I did try on a large and this is a medium because I feel like this fits me perfectly. I do actually really like it. I have to kind of think and see if I want another pink shirt in this color. And it's pretty basic, but I do think it's a nice basic and I do like this skirt. The next I see this thing from Abercrombie and Fitch. And this is the thing that surprises me because I said I didn't want to receive a green item. And then they sent me this green shirt, I think it is. So let's see how this looks like. And that is this one. I already see I don't like it. It's not my style of shirts at all. So I will try this on to show you guys what it looks like. And maybe it does look cute with an outfit. This is from Abercrombie and Fitch and the price of this is $49.95 but we'll see how it looks in a try on. So then here's the green shirt. Like I said, I already said I probably wasn't going to like this and that is true. I don't like it at all. I don't like the color. I don't like the fit. I don't like the style. It's so not my thing. I'm definitely going to put something else on very, very quickly because I really don't like it. Then we have this item from Monkey. I'm pretty curious to see what this is. I got a t-shirt from Monkey in this color. This is what it looks like. I think it can look pretty cute. It's the Yandra shirt, if I pronounce it correctly. And it's organic cotton, which is always nice. This is a size large and I feel like it is really wide. It's taking up the whole screen. So I think this will definitely be too wide for me, but maybe it's like a cute look. We'll see once I try it on. But this is from the brand Monkey, like I said, and that is $19.95. That's definitely inexpensive, but maybe it will surprise me. So here's me wearing this lilac colored shirt. I do like it way more than I thought I would. I did already like the color, but the fit is much nicer than I thought. And I'm actually pretty surprised with how much I like this on. I think it's a nice fit. When I roll up the sleeves, they're good. If I do like this, it is very wide. But, you know, it's not like too bad when I just wear it casually. I think it looks just like a nice oversized blouse. I do love this color also with my pink hair. I do like how purple and pink go together. It's kind of like wide, so you really have to like tuck it in somewhere or something 
for it to be cute. And then the last two things in this little set are two jeans. So they're the two jeans that I showed you guys in the preview. So the first one is this one from Topshop, which are these white jeans. They don't look too big. They look kind of small at the waist, but I know they're very stretchy. So these are the Joni jeans and they're a 30 waist and a 32 length. And then these are how much Topshop Joni jeans are $49.99 which I think for a pair of jeans that is a great price. The only thing I'm seeing is that they're like kind of see-through so I wonder how it is when I wear them. I know like white jeans can be see-through but I just hope they're not too bad once I try them on. I really want a pair of white jeans because I don't really own them yet and I think like they go with so many outfits. And then lastly we have these River Island jeans which look really fun. They're size 40. It says looks collection denim edition fashion fit. So this is what they look like. They have this belt here, which I think is pretty cute. And then they have three buttons right over there. And it's kind of like a mom jeans fit. So I'm actually really curious about these jeans. If they look nice on, then that's definitely great. So now about these jeans. So these are the River Island jeans. I think they're really nice. I do like them. I do really like the ID, but they're like a bit wider at the end. So it's kind of like a straight leg. I do like the fit. The only thing I don't like is this waistband. Don't get me wrong, I do think it's cute, definitely. I just never really like it on me. I'm not sure if I can feel really confident in these pants. And then I think they're too expensive. If I would have really, really loved them, I would have definitely kept them because it is a really nice pair of pants. They're just not my personal preference. I do own another pair of pants with like a paperback waist and I never wear them. So I am going to be returning this, but I am happy that she chose this because they are like kind of like different. And those River Island jeans are 55 euros. Now I don't think that's definitely too expensive for a pair of jeans. Then next there's one thing that's like separate in this order and that is this Oasis skirt. I think it's a really pretty skirt actually. I wouldn't really wear it now, but I think for fall it is a really nice skirt. It's kind of like a suede fabric and it's from the brand Oasis. Oasis mini skirt. It is an A-line skirt in a size 40, my regular size, and it's 51 euros which is pretty like pricey for a skirt but then it does feel good quality so I'm not complaining if the quality is there and I wonder how this looks on. So then here is the red suede skirt. I don't really know with this one. I do like it and I do like the ID for fall. It definitely is a nice skirt and I do like the belt detail. However, the shape in my opinion is just a bit weird. It goes in a really weird like point here in the back which is kind of I think the ID of the A-line but at the front it doesn't look A-line at all. I just can't stand the fabric. I don't want to be negative or something but you know sometimes you just feel those fabrics that you just cannot stand. I'm definitely going to look for a skirt like this in a different material and maybe like more a bodycon style so it doesn't have a weird point right there. I do really like the ID. I just don't like the fabric but she obviously couldn't no, so I still think they did a great job with this and then the last set there's three things in here so the first thing I see is a blouse I think it's from a brand called part 2 which I haven't really heard of before but let's see how it looks so far from this I think it looks like something my sister would wear she's more into like blouses and stuff than I am it's definitely a blouse for my sister she would like this I think so this is a size 38. I do like this. I just feel like it's not really me. However, I am going on an internship probably in September. And I did ask her if she could maybe like send something that would be like appropriate to wear in a company. Maybe it looks cute. This is size 38, but I can see why she sent me a 38. Maybe I just have to get a little bit out of my comfort zone. I don't know. So here's a blouse and I don't really know what to think of it. It's definitely nicer on my body than it was when I was unpacking it but I still feel like I'm wearing something for my sister. However, I do feel it kind of like makes me look more mature and grown up, so that is fun. Of course, also when I do an internship and I thought it's wrinkled, so I want to pull it like this, but then I see that it is like stuck right here and then this like thing is supposed to be here which I think looks kind of weird. So I don't really like this neckline. The size overall, I think it's nice. I wouldn't size up and I wouldn't size down because right here it's fitting perfectly. I do like the color on me. So then I see the skirt, which I'm pretty excited for. So this is a skirt I already showed in the preview. 
This is from the brand Opus. I have heard of it, but I've never purchased anything from there before. And this is what it looks like. It's a gradient orange skirt, which I think is so fun, actually. I love this skirt. The only downside is that, like, pleated skirts I do love. I think they're so pretty. However, when I try them on, I feel like they look a bit odd on me. I feel like they don't look the best on my body type. It's a really nice summery color. I actually really like this. But I do think it was quite pricey as well. Let's see, the Oprah's A-Line skirt is $69.95. Let's try it on and see how it looks. So let's talk about this skirt. Overall, I really like it. I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a really pretty gradient. It goes from a very light orange color to a very like darker orange color. I do like the pleated skirt. It fits really nicely and I do have two disadvantages. So one it is very see-through right here. I am wearing a very long white t-shirt. This is not from the box, this is from ASOS, but it is pretty see-through. So since I'm wearing a white shirt that's pretty long, you can't really see my underwear. But let's say you wear like a shorter like crop top or like something else, you will definitely see your underwear. And that is a big disadvantage for me with skirts like this. And then the other disadvantage is I have no idea how to style this color. So I just put on this top because that's pretty much the only thing I own that would go with this. But it is unfortunately a no for me, but I do really like the idea and I wish I liked it more because it is a really nice skirt and I could definitely see myself wearing it. And then the last item in the box is this Vera Moda tank top that I already showed in the preview. And I thought I said I didn't want to receive it, but then I looked back and I said I did want to receive it. It is a really nice top. I do like this. I do love lace tank tops. But the back is see-through. Okay, no, this is probably not going to work. I thought if it was only the bra straps that are showing in the back, then it's not a problem. But then this is see-through, so I think you will also see my bra strap at my waist. $24.99. And then this is what the tank top looks like. I'm not going to talk too much about this. This doesn't look good on me. It's not flattering at all. The fabric is kind of making me a bit more fat. And you can see my bra strap right here. I have to wear a bra because of my breast size, otherwise it would be nice like without a bra I think, but again it's white so that might be a bit weird. But like I said at the back you also see my bra strap and right here the bra strap as well. It's just not flattering, I just don't like it when people see my bra. So this one is definitely going to be returned unfortunately. Okay guys, and these were all the items in the box. Then my final thoughts, some pieces definitely surprised me. The blue blouse I liked better than I thought. I just didn't like the front, like I said. The Abercrombie didn't like at all. That's definitely going to be sent back. I'm still down in between the lilac blouse and the pink v-neck shirt. I think those are really cute. I just have to see in my closet if I have something to wear them with, if I don't have enough pink t-shirts yet. The white jeans looks really nice and very stretchy, but unfortunately they were too small on me, so I wasn't going to try them on. I might try those in a bigger size. The white tank top definitely disappointed me as well. I did like the ID, but I didn't like the fit. And then the other items I didn't like enough to keep. I think my stylist did a great job. She definitely chose some like different pieces. However, I don't know why she chose a green shirt and then also like spaghetti straps because I said I didn't want to receive those I think I might definitely order a box like this again in winter time. I think that would be fun Also, if you did enjoy this video I would love it if you gave it a thumbs up and don't forget you can always subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos And if you don't want to miss any of my videos then you can also turn on the notification bell and you will get a notification every time I upload So with that said, I want to thank you guys all so much for watching I hope you have an amazing day and I really hope to see you in my next video Yo, bye.